A lot of you requested for this video, so we are doing it today. And you know what I realized? I am so proud of myself. Guess what? I am just under 20 handbags. So without further ado, let me present to you my entire handbag collection at the moment. And the way I'll do it is I'll go from the largest bags to the smallest bags. Two of my largest bags, and they are the exact same style of handbag are my never folds. A lot of you are also interested in how I store my handbag, so I will just kind of touch on that while I talk about my handbag. So with my never full, I put them in my dust bags. Since I don't use my never full a ton, I do use them mostly for errands. So I basically just store them in their own dust bags with their handles standing up. Both of my never folds are in the mm size so for this one with the black trim it is my personalized never full and it is from the my world tour line with all the stickers that i have personalized this handbag by the way i am putting up for sale so whoever is interested let me know i did personalize with my youtube name and of course with every never full you also get the pouch and uh, that's how it looks like with all the personalized never folds they are made in france which is very nice for both of these handbags i also insert um, an organizer inside to keep the shape and also i like having an organizer when i use my bags because it really keeps the interior clean i want to thank samorga for sponsoring this portion of the video so for every single handbag i will talk about whether i recommend an organizer or whether you would want to maybe add an organizer i have mine in the 1.2 millimeter felt i also added the option where you can have a detachable zipper closure and you can just remove it or add it to your organizer as needed with the velcro attachment i also like having an outside pocket but other than that i keep it pretty simple with such a large handbag where you throw everything in it's quite easy to get it dirty in the long run and even just with dust so there we have it for the never full my next largest bag is a celine handbag and it is none other than the celine trapeze it is my only celine handbag this one is in the size small or um, is there a mini size now? But anyway, I don't, I'm not keeping up with Celine so much, but it is in pretty much pristine c condition. I take such good care of my handbags. Celine handbags are so well made, so it is quite um, disappointing that they don't retain their value at all. I would say that if I were to sell this one, I probably wouldn't recuperate all the money, which you know, I wouldn't sell anyway because at the end of the day, I do love this bag. This is the only Celine handbag I have in, in my collection, so it's quite unique. And it's full leather and it's actually not really that heavy, maybe because it does have a top handle. I think this bag made me realize how much I love a handbag with a top handle. And yeah, it basically became one of my favorite. It's sort of my blogger bag, my trendy bag. But again, I don't use large handbags very often, so it is in my collection. I probably wouldn't be adding too many large bags. Um, and I probably shouldn't be adding too many bags, to be honest, because I like keeping it at this threshold around 20. So the rest of my handbags are pretty small bags, or they are smaller bags. For a lot of people, they are considered too small or maybe mini size bags but that's my preferred size one of my newest it is the Hermes Picotin 18 size in the touch alligator so black color Clemence palladium hardware with black matte alligator handles it's really really beautiful again I do use an organizer for this one I do recommend an organizer for the picotin because as you can see it is very very slouchy Clemence leather the fact that I do have the touch handles and the fact that I had this organizer from day one really just helps tremendously Samorga so does offer three different styles of organizer for the picotin and I prefer the one with the raw edge let's open her up just to show you guys even though I never really open my bags this is kind of fun actually because I never really removed this otherwise as you can see even the sides have already molded to the shape of my bag and what I mean by raw is that the edge on top is 
not folded in. It's just cut up from the original fabric and it has two slip compartment. It's pretty simple. It is made with the classic two millimeter felt for added structure. It's still very lightweight, but it has enough structure because of the classic felt material and the fact that the top is raw edge means that there is no extra resistance so it's not going to create extra creases on the side of your bag the leather is suede on the inside can you see how slouchy it gets it will for sure over time get quite slouchy the the leather is very soft on its own and to prevent most of all any of the sagging around the corners up next we have another bucket bag and side by side they look quite similar the opening of the chanel bucket bag is a little bit more constricting with the drawstring being uh, on top of the bag of course you can release the whole thing but even then it's this is the maximum you see how it's being restricted so it does fit a lot but it still fits maybe a little bit less than the picotin but otherwise they are very similar size i cannot tell you which collection it's from anymore i honestly forgot but i want to say it's 19b so uh not super old maybe just a couple of years old and honestly one of the most gorgeous and easy to carry bucket bag short top handle which is super handy and also the longer strap you can see that it's not super reinforced or anything uh, aside from here which is reinforced but on the bottom is not so reinforced and just in general if you want to just preserve the interior of your bag which is pitch black right now because the base is a little bit softer i like having something to protect the bottom at the same time it will protect your bag because look at all the dust that's inside or maybe you can't see but i can see i can see the dust from all the little items that i had to put in my bag but I'd rather it being on my organizer than inside my bag, right? What's really fun about organizers is that you can change up the colors of the inside of your bags, especially when they're pitch black. Before I move on to the next bag, I did get asked several times whether I prefer the Chanel one or the Hermes bucket bag. And I will honestly say that I love both and that I'm keeping both for sure because this one, I like that it's more understated. It's just very simple and so straightforward. You can get in and out of it so easily. And I like how understated it is. Sometimes I just don't want to be flashy. Whereas Chanel is Chanel, right? It's a little bit flashier. It's very recognizable. There's the quilting. There is also the CC logos and the chains. So it, it is very signature Chanel in a way and it's a little bit more flashy, more fashion, but I like that sometimes. And in addition to that, I also like that this one, I do have this longer strap, which is super handy when I'm on the run. The next largest handbag in my collection is actually my Chanel 19. Mine is in the small size. I always still get asked, what size is my 19? What size is my 19? is the small size but it is also referred as the medium in Chanel or on the Chanel website and the way to very easily recognize it is just look at where they cut off the diamond quilt so the smallest size available in the 19 is cut off almost down the middle of the quilt this is honestly one of my best purchases of back then and it still is one of my best handbags that I uh, cannot live without at least one 19 in my collection. I am a big, big fan of the top handle. Like I said, I just love bags that have some sort of top handle. It really is a lifesaver for your shoulder. There's a level of sophistication and somehow makes your outfit more cute and elegant just by being able to hold your bags by the handle. In addition to that, I got pretty much one of the earliest versions of the 19 bag and the lambskin that they used back then on this bag are it's just it's just phenomenal. I mean to this day, can you even see if there's any like weird creases for what it is, especially this is one of the earliest version. It's still keeping its shape very, very well. And I do use this bag. I really thoroughly enjoy this bag. I love having the large back pocket. It's so easy to throw my phone in there, my parking stub. I love the Chanel turn lock. Uh, that's one of my preferred uh, turn locks. 
So the fact that it has it and it's kind of a little bit oversized with the brooch detail, everything on this bag is just so good. Now, in terms of the actual shoulder chain, I don't use it a ton, but I do use it. And it is the one of the main component that makes the bag heavier, but I don't find this whole bag too heavy. I don't know how else to explain it. Like I said, the top handle does really help. It makes me not end up using the shoulder strap so much, which I actually don't mind. And I love that it dangles because it just adds to the whole styling. And um, in terms of the interior, I love that it's, you know, a little bit less structured and a bit more slouchy and just a little bit more forgiving than the classic flaps. It is also a single flap, so you can really get away with a ton of items in there. Of course, you will see that I do keep my Samorga organizer in there at all times, especially when I'm storing the bag. So for the 19, I highly, highly, highly recommend that you purchase the Samorga organizer, just their regular felt, the classic felt. And whether you actually use it while you're carrying the bag or not, I still recommend having one because when you store this bag, so it's when you're not using the bag, you see how the base is just sunk in where my hand is because there's not a ton of structure with this bag otherwise. Therefore, this organizer is crucial for storage. You can use it too, but I prefer to use my bag without one. For any very unstructured bag, just get yourself one because it otherwise is just maybe a more of a liner to protect the interior, which is still important. But for this one, it's to actually protect the structure of the bag. Same with the picotin. It is otherwise a very, very unstructured and soft leather and it will crease over time. These are the kinds of bags that you'll want an organizer for. By the way, I do store all of my bags as the same way. I always tuck the chains in whenever possible and I always store upright, always. Not an exception, I never lie it down, never, ever, ever, that's, I never just, I just never. I always store it upright on top of my shelf and in the case of the 19, I just lay the chain to the back because instead of leaving any imprint, if it does, in the front, I'd rather it be in, on the back. So up next, we have my trendy CC, and this is exactly how I store it. So just wanted to show you how I store it, upright on top of my shelf. I do line my shelf with the same type of material, something soft like this, so that it sits on a nice soft surface. I just keep basically all the original felt on it just to protect it because you know it's a lambskin baby so i just keep all the felt material because you know with lambskin you can easily get that line there it's not going to prevent it a hundred percent of course but as long as i'm not using the bag i don't want it to keep getting wear and tear when i'm not actually using it right when i use it and i get wear and tear that's completely fine so the trendy cc it looks like a pretty big bag and it's actually quite heavy it actually is heavier than the chanel 19 believe it or not but it actually fits a little bit less all the compartments it really restricts you with the um, amount as well as the shape of items that you can fit in there. The largest item that you can fit in there has to fit in this middle compartment. But aside from that, this bag is just so gorgeous and so classic looking. It just is one of those really, really pretty elegant bag out there. I, again, love the fact that it has a long shoulder strap, but it also has a top handle. It is just fantastic that way. I was told that I would love the Kelly for that reason, we shall see, probably, but um, yeah, one thing at a time. Fully lined in leather as well, hence the heaviness of the bag. And for this bag, I will say that I recommend the organizer as well, only because it's fully lined in leather. But I do know that it will restrict even further the amount of things that you can put in there, which is why I choose my organizer for this bag to be the thinnest felt hence the 1.2 millimeter felt which is very very flimsy but that's what i want from my bag and it comes in a set of two you use the bigger compartment for the middle and you use the small compartment for the front and it doesn't come with anything for the back compartment because the back compartment is already quite slim and usually you don't access it so much otherwise the trendy cc just looks like this 
Mine is pitch black, so you can't really see that the front compartment does have that classic flat lipstick holder and the slip pockets on the side. With the organizer, that's how it looks like. I chose mine in like a wine color, like a wine burgundy. So it does give a bit of contrast, but it's still dark color. And yeah, it just gives me extra protection. This bag, I don't use a ton. It is more on the heavy side and it is kind of large looking, but it doesn't fit as much. Um, I love it for the aesthetic and I love for the really beautiful lambskin feel. It's just so soft and just so gorgeous. Um, yeah, it's just such an elegant bag. So the next few bags I will present to you all fit around the same amount, which is why I can't quite decide whether they actually fit more than the other. This is my final um, LV bag that I have left in my collection, which is very, very, which is quite interesting when I realized that myself. I was like, oh, how many LV bags did I have left? Only three. Anyway, back to the twice. This is one of my trusted Erin bags, which is the reason why it's still in my collection. I do still use it. And it's so easy to throw on because of the long crossbody, and it's just a very durable bag. Can easily put my phone in there, hand sanitizer, keys, and wallet in the back, my card holder in the back, um, anything that I want to just make sure that it stays secure with a zip closure. Both of these front and uh, back compartment fit a lot. This empreinte leather is still in pristine, pristine <laughs> condition. It's not even creased in any like weird way aside from a little bit here, which is just from really using my bag and stuffing my bag. And it also has this secret uh, magnetic compartment in the middle, which I do use for parking ticket or whatever. Everything on this bag is still in really good condition. Even the zipper pull is very, very shiny. I like it when they do something right with, I love it when LV does it right, especially this one. It's microfiber lined, made in France. It's like such good quality for what it was. And you can't even buy it anymore at this kind of price. I think I bought it for just under $2,000 at the time and it's full leather with microfiber lining and the shiny hardware. Even the hardware is still really beautiful. So um, yeah, very, very upsetting that they don't make it like this anymore, but this is one of my go-to in terms of like Erin's bag and I don't baby it. My next two bags that um, fit quite a bit and I don't know if the twice will fit more or if this will fit more than the twice. I just feel like they're about the same. They're just different constructions is the Chanel Gabrielle. So I have two of them. They're both in the very classic color. So black, obviously. Love the black one so much that I went ahead and bought a burgundy. That was the year where I was a bit obsessed with buying duplicates of styles that I really like. And I try not to do that anymore, but it's all good because like I said, this is one of the more classic colors. So um, at least I'm glad that I bought it in such a beautiful classic color. I will say that the Gabrielle looks the best when it's darker color. I just love the grunge looking chains with the multicolored chains and just like a more saturated color. So yeah, this is a very fall color. This one is my newest one in the beautiful burgundy calfskin. Look at the color. It just is very fall, very wintry. Just such a beautiful uh, complementing color for this bag. But since I've had the black one longer, let's talk about the black one because that's the easiest one to show you any signs of wear and tear. I bought this one early on when they just released the collection, when they just released this style of bag. Not the very first release, but it was just maybe the following release. So the following season, I was able to get my hands on it. So as you can see, it started to have a little bit more creasing, but nothing nothing super um, alarming or anything. It is definitely normal just from having really used the bag. I have stuffed this, I have used this uh, during traveling. And aside from the creasing, I would say the, the bottom is still in spectacular condition. But for this bag, I will consider getting an organizer just because I am starting to see the bag fall a little bit, like the creasing really start to be more noticeable. And so I will consider getting an organizer just for storage purpose because these chains are quite heavy. And I do store this bag, I, like I said, I store all my bags upright. 
and I do just put all the chains on top of the bag so it does weigh it down a little bit at first I wasn't worried about it and I'm still not so worried about it I just want to prevent it from uh, getting worse I don't want maybe the sides to also start sagging very easy straight zipper opens wide you can yank it open it's one of those bags that you only realize how easy it is to, to use and to carry and how it's more understated in a way because yes the straps are very loud you know there are a lot of straps but they are thinner straps and aside from that the bag itself is not super recognizable it just just looks like a little hobo right it's just very cool. So yeah, I do recommend this bag. I know a lot of you are still wondering uh, whether you should get this or the 19. I will say that if you're concerned about the current resale market, I will say that the 19 is a better investment. Again, not a real investment, but just for the current resale market, the 19 is doing a bit better. The Gabrielle, get it if you love the bag and if you just want the style to be part of your collection because it is an extraordinary handbag to own and to use it is so cool it just goes with any blazers and sometimes even the 19 with the flap with the cc it just is a bit too flashy you know what i mean this is not like that this one is more understated it's so much more girly and feminine and they are my coco handles so i have currently two coco handles in the exact same size which is the small size these are the earlier versions this one is the version with exotic handle caviar as the body and because it is an exotic handle they used to be also lined in all leather as well because chanel did stop the use of any exotic skin at one point then they started only making this version which was just caviar on the outside and it was just fabric lined this is an old version now because currently chanel makes the same bag but all leather lined it's a style of bag that is very attractive to look at however i don't use it as much i don't know if it's because it's a little bit too structured and also the fact that the strap on it is a little bit on the shorter side and not that there's anything wrong with that but it is more of a shoulder bag of course the fact that it does have this part here uh, does slide off the shoulder quite easily especially if you are wearing a large coat um, so it's a little bit less usable for the winter months for me but in the summer months i do like um taking it out because it is such a pretty bag and the top handle again is just one of the features that i like the most which is why i don't get a lot of wear and tear like if you look at all the corners or the bag itself in general this one is even less used because this one i cherish so much because of how rare it is they don't make exotic candles anymore this is exotic snake um i believe it's python they just don't make these anymore right even this one it's a very pretty gray it's one of the prettiest gray i've ever come across so in a sense uh, they're both quite rare in a way if you have an older version such as mine it will be fabric lined so this one is fabric lined or even if you have a leather version but you just want to really baby the leather on the inside or if it's a lighter leather color then just get yourself an organizer the way i ended up using the organizer is that i ordered one set because one set comes with two exact same ones of these one for the front compartment and one for the back compartment but because i mostly use the front compartment i just split it into um, my two bags i ordered mine in 1.2 millimeter felt which is the thinner felt which basically like i said just acts like a protection and i asked for no pockets if there was any pockets i think i asked for no pockets and i just keep one in each bag and so now each of my coco handle has the main compartment protected so even with this bag i have a half of my organizer in there and i think it's perfect because um you know even though this one is leather line it's probably much easier to wipe inside at least i don't have to wipe i just take out the organizer but anybody who owns a lot of classic flap or who owns at least a classic flap will probably understand the obsession of why a classic flap is a classic because it is just the proper 
shoulder bag length and everything. It's just, you know, the craftsmanship is better on the plastic flap. It is easily doubled up so you can take from day to night. Uh, you can also still crossbody it. Of course, it will be a short crossbody. And um, yeah, what can I say? As long as you get, uh, it is very expensive nowadays. So get it in your absolute most favorite color and just at least have that in your collection, right? And if it takes time to save that money, then it takes time because I didn't get mine until recently. And because these bags are so expensive, of course, I would recommend investing in your protection. Again, I have a very thin organizer in there. I probably asked for no pockets again, just because I wanted to act more as a liner. And I went tone on tone, so I just went with basically the 1.2 millimeter felt, the most flimsy felt that they have. I asked for no pockets. Oh, actually, no, there's one pocket. That's fine. One pocket's fine. Um, and it's just straightforward. It just kind of just protects the inside of your bag from getting dirty, especially in such a light color. And it's just one of those things where you'll thank yourself later. This is how I store mine. I just keep all the felt material uh, as much as possible. I put one here in the middle where the chain goes so it doesn't scratch the leather over time. And I make sure that the little zipper pull is lined properly. And that's how I store upright on my shelf. So Morga made a new product where you can tuck all the chains on top neatly. So I will definitely get my hands on something like that in the future, but I will link it in the video. Um, so, um, you know what I'm talking about. So moving on to the next bag, which I will do a side by side since some of you might be interested. But if you just go to my review video, you can see that as well. But the next size bag um, that fits the most is my mini rectangle. As you can see side by side, they look like night and day. But honestly, because this one does have the double flap and everything, it does fit more still, but it only maybe fits an extra large size phone which is a lot for a lot of people because some people do carry two phones at once and i did that for a while but um yeah aside from that the mini the mini rectangle does fit quite a bit i think this bag is pretty much self-explanatory mine is in caviar which is the reason why i'll never get rid of it and plus this is one of my favorite chanel minis that i've ever gotten my hands on um it's just one of those collections where the caviar is perfect, the color is perfect, it's the raspberry red color. So on camera, it's appearing a bit more red, but in real life, it's just like a deeper raspberry color, which is very, very close to a, a, a neutral red, but more blue. Like it has definitely more of a cool tone, which is honestly one of my favorite colors. I actually like the real color more than on camera, believe it or not. But anyway, I think uh, these minis, they are pretty much self-explanatory. They're very hard to get still, even in lambskin. They sell like hotcakes. They are still worth it money-wise because they're still one of the more affordable bags that you can get at Chanel that still looks like a classic flap. Will it ever replace the classic flap, like the actual small size or medium size? No, it wouldn't, but it's close. There is definitely a level of sophistication that you get when you wear a classic flap because of the proper shoulder length and the fact that you can just double it up and make it a proper nighttime bag, which you can't really do with the crossbody chain. Um, you know what I mean? Like it still looks a bit too casual, but again, wear whatever you like is fine. Style wise, they, they give you a different vibe. So yeah, much more casual, but very, very versatile bag. and still very affordable in a way uh, whereas the classic flap is just over the top expensive and um yeah <laughs> just very expensive my next mini which is the square mini these are my only mini uh flat bags that i have le left in my collection i no longer have the reissue i sold it to a very lovely subby in new york and uh yeah what can i say like i said earlier i do favor the Classic turn lock 17C. I think this one was 18B. It must have been because this was one of the last collections, if not the last, that still had caviar. Um, 
yeah. Anyway, um, self-explanatory, I think I talked about the mini square so, so much. Okay, we're down to my last proper handbag because the rest of them are all actually micro bags. And yes, I am counting my micro bags as part of my entire handbag collection. And because I am under 20, I am very, very happy with that. So up next, I have the one and only Lady Dior in the mini size. And yes, I have this beautiful twilly from Miss Cat L. I should remove it because we talked about how twillies can leave the leather uneven. So maybe I'll just remove it in this video. I feel like the the lambskin on it, just because I own a number of lambskin bags now, I feel like the lambskin on it is quite durable. It feels thick and the, the quilt is still very puffy and everything. So I'm not super worried. And this opaline color is very uh, much on the darker side of the gray. So I'm... Again, that makes me feel more comfortable. It does come with a really pretty chain, which is just nice to have on it, um, just as a dangling little chain, but you can also use it to cross body. It's quite long though, it's very long. And for this bag, because it's such a light color interior, I do recommend an organizer. It's not a must, maybe for myself, just because I don't end up using this bag a ton. Like I said, this is more for like fancy evenings and I've only used this bag like a handful of times but I do feel that if you just want to protect your bag over the long term something like this very simple um, thin felt liner is is just the answer to um, just protecting the interior of your bags like you see it's a really nice monogram lining uh, but once it's dirty, it's dirty, right? If you get any stains in it, it's that's it. So yeah, I do recommend getting one. It's it's pretty it's pretty thin anyway. It doesn't take up too much space. Um, this bag is quite small to begin with, so don't expect to fit a ton in it. And I don't find that fitting a phone in this bag is that comfortable. It's quite hard to take it in and out of the bag just because of this um, constricting opening. You see how these four rings, they really get in the way. They get in the way of really opening your bag. You see how the back, it just restricts you like from here and then the front too. And that's how I store mine. I just tie the ribbon on top just to make sure it stays upright. And I tuck all the chains and everything inside and that's pretty much it. So yeah, let me know if you have any feedback about um, the twilly, do you leave yours on forever or do you remove it when you're not using it? Maybe I should remove it. Yeah, up next I have this beauty right here. This is my round clutch in iridescent black color. It was definitely the summer collection from 2019 because it was when I was in Hawaii. Um, pretty sure it was 19p actually. And it's the first time that they release the round clutch in the perfect circle. So it was actually a bit wider, it was the perfect circle, it fits more, and it's also a really pretty caviar. If you look at it, it's supposedly um, it's supposedly a, a lambskin caviar, but it's so refined, and the colors are just spectacular. It's a little bit purple, a little bit green, a little bit blue, um, but it's just the most pretty round clutch I've ever seen and uh, that I don't use a ton but I just love it so much because it's so cute and the price back then was so reasonable oh my gosh so reasonable um, so yeah this is super cute uh, one of the earliest perfectly round clutch and I do have an organizer in there I know it's it might sound silly but actually if you do use your clutch a lot which I do with the black one it will get dirty so I have this thing this liner thing in it and I chose a brighter color it, they even included a little slip pocket how cute is that and it just protects the inside it's just as simple as that otherwise it's just basically pitch black it does have two slip compartment on either side um, but it's pitch black and I see some dust there I see some dust and I, I just don't want to even clean dust, right? I want my bags to keep as clean as possible. If anything, I will get rid of the organizer and buy a new one. 
instead of having to clean my bag, you know? See how like the sides, they fit perfectly and there's one little slip compartment in the back. And honestly, if you really want to still use the inside slip pocket, you can uh, just stash your secret money in there. And yeah, this is this is the cutest thing. I will so I will model everything because I know you guys love modeling shots even though it takes me forever to do them but I will model everything uh, my entire collection since I only have 19 bags anyway I should probably model them so that you can see how they look like on me those who watched my videos will know that I still have these two babies in my collection they are identical from the same collection use this one 100% this one 0% this one is still unused but I'm just waiting for the summer. Buy first, think later. That's exactly what happened. Um, but yeah, when in doubt, buy first, think later. Don't do it, by the way. Don't follow my advice, by the way, but <laughs> this is what I did, right? I uh, just bought it first, think about it later. It will link to a playlist of all the reviews I have of all these handbags that I featured right here right here, just click there. You'll see all the reviews that you can possibly find for all of the bags that I talked about, including these new ones, these new babies, and how I fit so much in these. Um, so yeah, that's pretty much it for today's video. Uh, I don't think there's any Samorga organizers for these yet, and it's fine because these are more like wallets. They're not real bags. Um, this one fits a bit more so I, I like having one inside and plus it's so thin anyway but otherwise uh, you know which ones I recommend and which ones uh, you can try out and I will link everything down below like I said I will link as many description as possible <laughs>
sure that you're subscribed to my channel, especially if you're new here, I would love to have you back. If you want to support me further, you can also become a channel member where you get more exclusive members only content. Happy New Year, everyone. And I'll talk to you guys again very soon. Bye.